Hey, hi, hello everybody and welcome back to the Goat Force Gaming channel where we play the roguelikes and the roguelites and hopefully add all kinds of awesome games to your backlog or your wish list or your now playing list or I don't know. Whatever the hell you're doing out there, I'll tell you what, we're going to add to it. And now you've been warned. You're going to see all kinds of cool games out here. Because that's what we like playing, as long as they're roguelikes or roguelites, that is. Folks, it's great to be back here with you again today. Uh, I am here excited to show off another new one to the channel. Uh, this is a game that I demoed way back when, and I don't think I posted any footage of the demo. I think that... I enjoyed the game and kind of just decided, hey, I want to get back to this at some point and show it off to all of you great gamers. And so here we are again, folks. This is a game called Nevermourn, and this is going to be releasing into early access on May 13th. So I want to thank the developer for allowing me an early look at the game. This is a third person action roguelite where you get to play as a necromancer building up an army of undead warriors that you can then set on your enemies. And I've had a good time with it so far. Basically what we're doing is moving from room to room in this opening world and eventually, if I do well enough, uh, we'll get to transfer into the next biome and take on some new enemies. Along the way, uh, we're developing some new spells and new capabilities and uh, in addition to that, I have opened up some of the options in the meta progression area that have allowed me to uh, be a little bit faster. I can resurrect enemies that much faster, a little bit speedier. My attacks are a little bit beefier. And so I've been having a good time with this one. So we're going to have a run in Nevermourn and see what we can see and we're going to have a good time doing it. We're going to drink some coffee along the way, right? And uh, that's going to be that. Let's see what we got here for our reward. DPS minions gang one level, so I usually have a ton of these guys. So I'm going to go ahead and level them up, make my minions a little bit stronger here. Yeah, we've got, we've got a nice army going so far. Contains a shrine that grants a powerful effect for you and your army. Yeah, let's do that. Usually this offers some kind of nice modifier to spells or what have you. Speaking of spells, we have those in kind of two different categories that you're constantly switching between. So when I want to revive, I switch over to this set of spells I can just simply point and click and hold down the capability for a second I can siphon health from the elites uh, and I can also give health back to our elites so it's this constant switch and that's about all you have to know and then it's just about getting in there and managing the battlefield and using your powers uh, when appropriate. Is it kind of basic? Yeah, in a way. You know, but I... Uh, I don't necessarily want complicated video games all the time, right? Sometimes we want something to just ease on into. Alright, let's see what we got here. Okay, Spreading Flames. Whenever a burning enemy is hit with arcane damage, inflicts up to three burn to nearby enemies. 
tanks gain plus 25% more HP whenever a non-tank minion takes damage. 40% of the damage is redirected to a tank. Wow. You deal 25% less damage, but you can control one additional greater minion and you gain plus 50%. Okay, I'm not sure what we're gaining 50% of. Again, it's going in early access. Got to give him a break here and there, but I do want an additional greater minion. Uh, so basically that's another elite and that is a game changer for us. So we are going to bring in Oh, another one of these guys, because they blast out cool Inferno spells. Get another couple of these guys. I can resurrect much, much faster now. Let's go with a spell upgrade this time. But three elites is pretty awesome. Now we're going to see a lot of spells popping off through those caster demons. Folks, I have to tell you, I was taken off guard the other day, or I guess caught off guard is a better way to say it. The other day, a shadow drop of Hades 2. Come on. I never would have called that. You know, I figured, and I, I, I realized they said that after the uh, test period, Early access would happen quickly. I I get that. You know, they, they did mention that. However, I thought that they would say, hey, early access is going to happen, just like we told you. And by the way, it's happening on such and such day two weeks from now. That is not what happened. And so I'm sure that many of you have gotten in there Let's see what we want to do here. Arcane Bulking, one level, so plus 8% damage, plus 5% reduced cooldown. I think we'll do that. That's that fireball we toss out. Let's get a couple more guys here and fill the roster. There we go. So I would imagine some of you have jumped in. This is the handy dandy store that utilizes this currency and to be totally honest with you we can't afford much and we don't have much fatigue this affects the maximum of your health bar when you get fatigue you know it, it'll knock down that that maximum that you're able to uh, achieve on the life bar so let's go with another spell upgrade sometimes you get ones to pop where you know you're gaining four levels instead of the one that we saw last time Maybe we'll come up with something nice here. So for anybody that has popped in, I hope you're enjoying it. Let us know in the comments what you think of it. Some of you are probably saying, Goat, we're waiting for you to talk about how much you've played it so far. And uh, I'm going to, don't worry, uh, the answer is, is simple. I, I have spent zero time in Hades 2. I, I wasn't part of the technical test, and I have not yet picked it up in early access. Uh, I probably will. I probably will. I'd, I'd like to see what it looks like. That said, I'm really torn. I, I've got to be honest with you, I'm, I'm very torn. Um, part of me wants to get in there and play the hell out of it and make some videos to show it off for all of you. The other part of me says, hey, you know what? It'd be kind of nice. Ooh, we got to fill the roster. Holy smokes. Let's do that. Let's focus up for just a second. How about we do that? Let's get that guy and let's get a summoner. All right, there we go. Easy to lose sight of that. Part of me is waiting. Ooh, there's our four level ups. Perfect. You know what? Let's let's put it all into this. That looks quite good. Part of me wants to wait until it's fully baked. Cheers to you, by the way. Quick sip of coffee there. 
contains a shrine that allow you to increase the level or a spell upgrade. Let's level up the minions again. And we are in room number nine. I know, kind of nondescript. But we're, uh, we're making our way through here. So I'm a little torn because I know the game is going to be epic. You know, I'm seeing very positive reviews. Uh, IGN actually scored the early access version of the game uh, and gave it a 9. And, you know, the big talking point that's out there is that even in its early access form, apparently the game has more content than the original did when it was fully formed. So, I mean, that kind of tells you everything you need to know, right? Which is another reason that the game is pulling on me a little bit to get in there now. I'm not going to lie. Part of me is concerned with uh, disappointing you all. You know, if we don't get to it right away. And then the YouTuber part of me says, hey, there are about 10 bazillion people playing this game on YouTube, and the competition there uh, is going to be at an incredible level. So, I don't know. I That's all to say, I don't know what I'm going to do yet. Uh, we really shouldn't let the whole view thing matter uh, but it is a thought that goes through my mind you know I want to continue growing the community and uh, bringing in folks from the outside that see our videos and go hey this place is really cool I want to hang out here more often we should probably do this let's do this okay melee plus one we've got a full roster let's keep moving ahead here quick sip of coffee again cheers to you all right, got a nice uh, light roast going. It's the one I was mentioning again uh, the other day. And again, I am without the bag in front of me. I actually had it up here in the game room and then brought it down a little bit ago to make a second cup and I just left the bag down there. But it has some very bright notes. It's a light roast. And it has uh, some notes of orange. It's really, really good. Okay, guess what? We are light as far as our army goes. So let's, uh, let's remedy that right away. Get some archers this time. That's these guys. And we are looking better. Could use one more elite. Let's get this guy. There we go. Okay. Now let's see if we can siphon some health here. Need to find an elite. There he is. There we go. Now that lunge attack that I use actually causes bleed. Oh. The big dudes have arrived. All right, if we could get one of those on our side, we'd be sitting pretty, I think. Oh, we need more. I'm going to leave one slot open for an elite. Okay, got him. Now, can we revive them? We can. There we go. Oh, yeah. Now nah, we're looking good. Got that beefy boy. Wonderful. Right on time. Okay. Killing a greater minion with swift slice also revives three nearby lesser minions. Wow. Chaos Bolt also fires two additional projectiles and inflicts Vulnerable on hit, but deals 60% less damages. I kind of like this. That's interesting. Let's do that. 
So it's got to be a greater minion that we're killing with our lunge slash capability. Which is totally fine. I, I think we can manage that. So let me know what you think. Are you going to be jumping into Hades 2 right away? Do you think I should jump into Hades 2 right away? We should probably put it to a vote. You know? I'll go with the community on it. Interested to hear your thoughts. You know, I feel like we have just a ton of games to play, as is typical, on the channel. And so when I heard that the game dropped, it, you know, it was it was a moment of excitement. And at the same time, it was this moment of, huh, but I've got these 13 other games in the hopper right now. And some games that, you know, still haven't finished. And, uh, you know, I'm thinking about games like Ants Stole My Eyeball, for instance. Now, those are games that I'd, I'd still like to go back and complete. Still having fun with them. Now let's go ahead and steal some health from this dude. We need to get rid of him right away. Okay, let's grab one of these dudes. Full roster. We're going to grab one of these guys for our army. Uh, you can get right back up. Don't get comfortable. Okay. Bunch of little dudes out here. We, we cleared that room nicely. Um, I think I want to go with this because of that buff that we have on it, where if we take out a, a greater... We get that free revive of three minions. Makes sense to trumpet that one up a little bit. All right. Now, this is a new looking guy. We have a little bit of a dash right there that you saw me pop off. That's when I can remember to use it. Now, if you've hung out here, you know. You know the struggle. All right. Trying to keep an eye on the army at the same time. This guy's going down fast, love it. Okay. Let's get a couple guys. You know what, we'll uh, spread some life as long as we're using our heal set of spells at the moment. Siphon some health from him, blast him with a fireball. Perfect. Still enjoying Barry. I am deep into season three at this point. And we're also making our way through part two of the Jinx, and, and that's been really good. Three episodes are available, and we're totally caught up on things. Now, if you haven't gotten to the Jinx yet, and you like the first one, I'd absolutely consider it. Okay, let's get some army back. Man, oh man. You go from having a full roster the thing's not looking so good very quickly sometimes. Okay, I think we're good here. Ooh, ice guy's back out here. See ya. I wouldn't mind having him. Perfect. It's nice when you can kind of pick and choose who you want to add. Outstanding. 
Okay, Arcane Bolt getting two levels and getting the following bonuses, more reduced cooldown, or we could put it into this and kind of level these out to be more equal. I think we'll do that. Balanced approach, right? Okay. So I'm definitely gonna spend to remove some of the fatigue. And we're gonna go forward here. Uh, let's go with the shrine. some siphoning you know what I think I'd like to add him to the squad and we need a couple more okay I had to wait till there were more bodies on the battlefield Perfect. Man, that was a big hit. Uh, let's get some health back. There we go. I tried for the revive combo. The guy died before I could get it off. Maybe we can do it on this guy. Okay. But what we should do is get some health right now and get an army back. Health, please. There we go. Now that should have given us some guys back. Unless I uh, miscalculated there. Come on. We need to get an elite. There we go. Alright, it's a start. It's a start. Gotta take care of some of these guys. came from out of nowhere. Wow. That was tough. Arcane Bolt getting five levels and getting the following bonuses. Wow. Um, hmm. These are big. Uh, let's go with the bolt. Yeah, let's go with the bolt. I feel like that one's easy to pop off from a distance. Let's do enchantments too. Which is important uh, from time to time, you know, when you're low on health. Guy looks new. We're gonna add you to the army. Perfect. Welcome aboard. Now let's give that dude some health back. Let's siphon from him. Oh man, no army. Uh-oh. Okay. Well, 
that's a little bit better. Can we not revive this dude again? All right. Folks, this is not looking good. This jerk keeps shooting me from a distance. Let's get out of there. Come on. All right, here's some corpses. That'll help. it is there it is well that was fun right looks like we were able to level up i'll show off the meta progression here in a minute looks like we got a couple new spells oh and an additional spell slot as well that's cool living bombs infuse three lesser minions with a powerful bomb causing them to rush to the nearest greater minion and detonate Dealing 20% of their max life as burn damage in an area. They are sacrificed and destroyed in the process. They detonate if the effect expires. Okay. So, level 12. And let's show the talent tree first. I'll uh, zoom out a little bit so that we have a good look here. So, a few different directions you can go to open up these greater powers along the way. Um, I have been heading in this direction recently so that I can buff the minions a little bit more and then ultimately get that so that they last longer. So I'm going to go that direction and eventually we'll grab that. This is where you can come in and add a few different spells to work with. We've got our damaging spells and then our healing spells over here. And I can't yet add a third minion to start with, but eventually uh, that'll be nice. So, folks, this is a game called Never Mourn, and this is going to be out in early access on... May 13th. I will include a link to the Steam page in case you want to get out there and check this one out for yourself. It's fun. It's fun. I, I'm having a good time with it. Uh, let me know in the comments if you want to see more of it. Be happy to play more and see if we can get a little bit further into that next biome. Uh, I did do it once so far. Uh, in, in playing the game. It's tough when you get uh, towards the later stages and you're running out of army and they're throwing elites at you. A nice challenge along the way. Okay, let's do this again sometime. We'll get together, we'll play a roguelike or a roguelite because uh, that's what we do every single time. And uh, we'll give away a video game at least once a week. That's fun, right? Well, we can do those because of you. We're going to try to do that 200 times in 2024. So thanks for the support. We'll see you again soon. Take care.